Keeping your Linux Mint system up to date is essential for security and performance. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly update your Linux Mint without an issue so that it runs at peak performance and you're not experiencing any problems with it. All right, let's do that. Step number one, open the update manager. Look for the shield icon in the bottom right corner of your system and click it. This opens the update manager. Alternatively, you can go to the menu and search for Update Manager and click on it. It will also bring up the Update Manager. Step 2. Check for updates. In the Update Manager, click Refresh button to check for available updates. As you can see, there are updates already shown here. But if we click Refresh, it's going to refresh the updates list and it's going to show us all the updates that are available. The system will list all the packages that need updating. So there we go, we got the full list of updates. There is not too many of them. Though there are different types of updates. The shield icon, these types of updates are security updates. Then the upward arrow is the software update. The world one is the third party update. And this is a flat pack application update. Usually these ones are the more storage consuming. If you wish to install every single update, you can just click install updates and it will install everything that's need to be updated. If you don't want to update some apps, for example, I have this browser here. I don't really want to update it. So you can just untick this check mark and it won't be updating this app. Same for this one here. And as you can see, the selected updates already shown only one gigabyte. If I check mark it here, it turns to two gigabyte. So step three, install updates, click install updates. And it says that this upgrade will trigger additional changes. It will also update these packages here. So just click OK and check this out here. So it's going to be downloading 2.1 gigabyte, but it will require 4.8 gigabyte more disk space to be used. So yeah, that's going to be quite a bit. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. It will ask you for a system password to authenticate this action. So just enter your password and press authenticate. The update manager will download and install everything for you. If you want to see details, you can just click here. And it's going to show you what it's doing at the moment. So yeah, as you can see, it's downloading pretty quick and installing pretty quick. But of course, it all depends on your internet connection and on your computer speed. There we go. Our system is up to date. Everything worked well. Now we can close this update manager window. And our system is updated. Optionally, you can use command line. For that, just open the terminal, press Ctrl Alt or use the icon on the taskbar at the bottom. And then in the command line, just type sudo apt update to ampersand signs, sudo apt upgrade space dash y. And then press enter, enter your password to authenticate this action and press enter. There we go. It has done the update and upgrade, but it didn't have to do anything because we have just upgraded everything through the update manager. As you can see, it has upgraded zero, zero newly installed and zero to remove. We can just type sudo apt auto remove. This command helps to clean up unused dependencies, freeing up disk space. And as you can see, we have 299 megabyte of disk space that will be freed after this operation. So I'll just press Y and press enter. It just removing unnecessary packages. There we go. So everything is done can close it and there we go our system is up to date and ready to go well that's it your linux mint is up to date now and you can keep using it don't forget to update it regularly usually you will get notifications when there is new updates are out but you can do it yourself whenever you want just run these commands and it will be updated in no time i hope you find this video helpful if you like it please support it with a like subscribe to the channels for more helpful linux mint tips and if you have questions comments suggestions drop them down in the comment section below I'll be happy to read the comments and help you if I can. And if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can use super thanks or check out the support links in the description. I appreciate it very much. And until next time, see you next video. Bye-bye.